Best wishes to our Catholic brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior who possesses the glory and power, as it was in the beginning, is now and and ever shall be. Amen. Welcome to our channel, The Light of Heaven. Today, we will talk about the prophecies of Blessed Sister Elena Aiello. Blessed Elena Aiello was a sister who received five stigmata. She was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI in 2011. She prophesied the martyrdom of a pope and punishments related to a massive earthquake. Here are some prophecies of Blessed Elena Aiello. Our Blessed Mother told Elena, Humans have been offending God too much. If I showed you all sins humans committed in a day, you would die due to pains. This is a horrible era. The world will be completely messed up because this era will be more horrible than the deluge. The perspectives of materialism will dominate the world and the peace of the world will be threatened. Punishments like dark clouds are floating upon human beings. Only my power given as the mother of God will be able to prevent storms from happening. The fate of human beings is hanging by a thread. As soon as the thread breaks, the justice of God will fall like a thunderbolt and complete its terrible course of purification. God will purify everything. All nations will be punished due to their sins. Currently, sins look like a full mud river swallowing the world. The power of Satan is ready to destroy any parts of the world. Terrible events are ready to take place in the future. I, for a long time, have warned men, the ruler of nations needed to understand the importance of these dangerous events, but they refused to understand that the most crucial thing to everyone was to practice the genuine life of Catholics to avoid punishments supposed to fall on humans. Oh, my immaculate heart was painful like being tortured, as I witnessed human beings are busy doing unnecessary things instead of reconciling with God. It is not too far before the entire world will be in torment. Much blood will be shed, including the righteous, the innocent, holy priests, and the church itself will suffer greatly. Hatred will reach its peak. Italy will be humiliated and purified in its blood. Italy will itself suffer greatly due to sins people committed in a privileged country where the Vicar of Christ is living. You cannot imagine what will happen. A great revolution will take place and streets will be stained by blood. During this era, the Pope will suffer a lot and his sufferings will be like an agony which will shorten his pilgrimage on earth. His successor will guide the boat of the Catholic Church in the storm. However, the punishment of the ungodly will not take long. There will be terrifying days when the earth tremble and terrifies all humanity. After that, the wicked will die because of God's justice. Like other prophecies, especially the secrets of Fatima, Blessed Elena saw the agony and martyrdom of a pope who would suffer from an agony and whose pilgrimage would be shortened on earth. Prophecies about the martyrdom of the pope make people to think that he will die. Blessed Elena described the successor as Saint John Bosco described in his dream of two pillars of salvation. The successor of the Pope would guide the boat in the storm and to guide the Catholic Church in the second descent. Suddenly, the Pope was hurt. His people assisted him, and he stood up. In second time, when the Pope was attacked, he fell down and died. His enemies shouted for joy because they won the battle and constantly used offensive words. Nevertheless, as soon as the Pope died, his successor took over his seat. Involved people immediately met to choose a new pope, so when the news of the pope's death was spread, a new pope was appointed. This made the opponents anxious. The new pope won his enemies and overcame barriers. He guided the boat to the middle of the two columns and took a rest there. He quickly took a course of actions with a light chain from an anchor that is our Lord Jesus Christ and with another light chain that is Our Lady Mary. Moreover, along with the earthquake and the death of the future Pope, 
Blessed Elena also mentioned a terrifying scourge of fire coming from heaven to burn down everything after a massive flood. This was like the tsunami happening in 2014. Blessed Elena also wrote, after saying, Our Lord Jesus Christ disappeared. After that, the Blessed Mother appeared with seven swords piercing her sorrowful heart. She came closer to me, cried, and said, Listen attentively and send my message to all humans, my immaculate heart is sad for so many sufferings in an impending world in ruin. The justice of our Father is most offended. Men live in their obstinacy of sin. The wrath of God is near. Soon the world will be afflicted with great calamities, bloody revolutions, frightful hurricanes, and the overflowing of streams and the seas. Cry out until holy priests can hear my words, to advise men that the time is near at hand. If men do not return to God with prayers and penance, the world will overturn in a new and more terrible war. Deadly weapons will destroy all people and nations. The dictator of the earth and the specimens infernal, will demolish the churches and desecrate the holy Eucharist, and will destroy most dear. In this horrible war, numerous people will be killed, and much will be destroyed of that which has been built by the hands of human. Clouds with lighting flashes of fire in the sky and a tempest of fire shall fall upon the world. The scourge which has never been seen before will last for 72 hours. Godless people will be killed and wiped out. Many souls will be lost due to their obstinacy of sin. Then shall be seen the power of the light over the power of the darkness, my dear daughter, be not silent because hours of darkness and abandonment are near. I am bending over the world delaying the justice of God. If I did not do so, agonies would have taken place. It is necessary to pray to God and repent. Men need to return to God and to my Immaculate Heart, because I am the Mediatrix of men to God. Thus, a part of the world will be at least saved. Cry out until humans hear my voice and repeat my voice. Let my voice be known, because my voice will save many souls and prevent the Catholic Church from being destroyed. Message of the Blessed Mother, April 16, 1954 Hours of God's justice is near at hand and will be terrible. The scourge will fall upon the world and all nations. There will be epidemics, famines, earthquakes, hurricanes, floods from rivers and seas. All of these will cause destruction and deaths. If men do not recognize the divine mercy and do not return to God with a good life of Christian living, another terrible war will come from the east to the west. Russia with its secret arms will have a battle with the U.S. and overturn Europe. The River Thine, running through Dutch, Germany, and Switzerland, will be overflowing with corpses and bloods. A great revolution will occur in Italy leading to harshness, and the Pope will suffer greatly. Spread the devotion to my Immaculate Heart, in order that many souls will be saved my love and many sinners will return to my heart. Be not afraid because I will always accompany with and protect faithful ones, and all those who accept my urgent warnings. Particularly, those praying by the rosary will be saved. Satan will completely make use of its power to disorder this world, but, because of my immaculate heart, the triumph of the light will not delay. I will win the power of darkness. Finally, the world will have tranquility and peace. The Message, August 22, 1960 If possible, send a message to warn all the people on earth that they need to return to God through prayers and penance as soon as possible. Oh, my lady, I followed your words to translate and spread this message to encourage other people to abide by your words and then to show repentance, to do penance, and to do fasting to pray for God's forgiveness and to avoid punishments on ourselves and on all humanity. We sincerely beg you to save us by praying to the Holy Spirit for attracting more people, for creating more praying groups to beg for the conversion of the whole world and to stop God's hand of justice. Amen. Finally, 
We hope you all have a nice day. God bless you. Amen.